Unplug the washer from the wall outlet. Turn off the water supply to the washer. While supporting the front lower access panel, remove the two screws from the bottom edge of the panel. Gently lower the access panel to disengage the panel locators from the bottom edge of the front panel. Slide the washer out enough to access the rear service panel. Do not tip the washer. Go to the rear of the machine and remove the screws holding the rear service panel to the rear panel. Remove the rear service panel. Reaching through the rear service panel, run the belt off the inner basket pulley while slowly turning the pulley. Remove the belt from the motor shaft. Reaching through the front access panel, cut the wire tie holding the small harness connector to the motor, then disconnect both the motor harness connectors from the motor. If reinstalling the same belt, use a marker to outline the washer on the front and rear adjusting bolt holding the motor to the motor bracket so the belt can be tightened to the same location. Use a 6 inch piece of 2x4 to support the motor. Grasp the metal rods with the locking players and remove the two bolts and washers holding the motor to the motor bracket. Working through the rear service panel, grasp the metal rods with the locking players and remove the two bolts and washers holding the motor to the motor bracket. Remove the motor out through the rear access panel. Place the new motor into the washer and allow the motor to rest on the washer base. Working through the rear service panel, install the rear pivot bolt and washer. Leave the bolt snug, do not tighten it. Install the rear adjusting bolt and washer. Leave the bolt snug, do not tighten it. Working through the front access panel, install the front pivot bolt and washer. Leave the bolt snug, do not tighten it. Pivot the motor up into the motor bracket and install the front adjusting bolt and washer. Leave the bolt snug, do not tighten it. Working through the rear service panel, attach the belt to the pulley with a wire tie or tape. Place the belt on the motor pulley. Carefully run the belt on the inner basket pulley while slowly turning the pulley. Remove the wire tie or tape once the belt is fully installed on the pulley. If installing a new belt, pull down on the motor to increase the belt tension. Use a Burroughs belt gauge to obtain proper tension. Proper belt tension is obtained when the belt can be deflected approximately one quarter inch from the normal position when moderate pressure, 50 to 60 pounds, is applied to a point midway between the motor and the inner basket pulleys. Tighten both the front and rear adjusting bolts. Then tighten the pivot bolts. If reinstalling the same belt removed earlier, locate the marker spot made earlier on the motor bracket. Pivot the motor so that the front adjusting bolt and washer are in the spot and tighten both the front and rear adjusting bolts. Then tighten the pivot bolts. Replace the rear service panel onto the rear panel. Working through the front access panel, reconnect the harness connector to the new motor. Install a new wire tie holding the small harness connector to the motor frame.
Replace the lower access panel by inserting the panel locators into the bottom edge of the front panel. Replace the two screws in the bottom of the access panel. Plug the power cord into an outlet. Turn on the water supply to the washer. Run the washer through a complete cycle to make sure it is operating properly. 